going on everybody we are back with another studio update i am uh, back in town now i was gone for about a week we've got the walls painted finally uh, i actually planned to try and have some filming done before i left with the walls painted but that didn't actually happen so um it's done now though so i can put everything into position get everything kind of starting to be set for the final time because uh, up until this point we were just kind of you know putting things up when i knew i would have to take them back down so i actually have some other items that I can put in place now as well but we're gonna start kind of with the items that we had before get the shelves up get the lighting in get the desk where it was get some other sound proofing put up and then I also have some things like I still need to get uh, some covers for that window there so that I have like a blackout curtain and I'm also gonna use some sound deadening because there's actually an HVAC unit just on the outside of that wall but I think this will come together really quickly once we start so uh, I'm going to dig in, get everything kind of organized back how it was, and then I also have a brand new 3D printer here on the floor. And I've got a cart ordered for that, but it won't be here until Friday. Uh, today is Wednesday when I'm actually filming this. So um, that'll be here. I'll get that kind of put in place. Uh, I still have to get my tool chest here so that I can get you know my tools organized and then I'm gonna have to start doubling up on tools and figuring out what tools to bring here versus keep at the shop so on and so forth so uh, still a lot of figuring out to do but uh, looking forward to getting everything put in place tonight so that we can start moving forward <laughs> All right, so I'm just getting my camera set up right now, just trying to get the desk where it needs to be with the camera angle, make sure the actual soft boxes aren't in the way. Uh, I did get the, I guess the tallest soft box set up, mounted to a wall mount, which I actually bought and I brought it home today, got it installed. It helps me get rid of one of the tripods that'll be on the floor over on that side, which should give me more floor space actually. Uh, so that was the goal for that. I got rid of that tripod. This one's super adjustable as well. Um, I might look at picking up another one for the other soft box, just because if I don't have a tripod on the floor over there, it will help keep things just a little bit tidier behind the desk. So um, 
big fan of that thing so far. And then oh, the dog is playing with a squeak toy. Um, if in the end I really end up liking it, I could also put my boom mic on it. One thing I have noticed is that with the super dark blue background that I have now, that the orange lights on the uh, display shelves don't show up as well. So this thing is adjustable brightness as well as color, um, but I'm actually all the way up in brightness right now. And that that super dark flat color actually really knocks down that color compared to the white that I had, which kind of was to be expected. So I'll kind of play around with what color I really like and see which one I stick with. I actually don't hate that teal, but. I don't know, we'll see about sticking with the orange. We'll see how it shows up in video. Maybe I'll shoot uh, a video tonight with that on. I'm actually dog sitting for my brothers. Probably come up with a situation to really clean up the wiring on the backdrop here, specifically the RGB controller uh, for the shelf lighting. probably 3D print a little enclosure that I can kind of mount to uh, the wall or specifically the outlet to really just get that tidied up completely um, and mount the infrared receiver somewhere where it can easily be accessed because right now it's pretty easy to kind of try to have to fish around with the remote to hit that and then as far as the actual RGB light that I have here on the floor right now it's running off of camera battery setups um, and what I'll probably do is get an AC adapter so that I don't have to worry about the actual battery setup on that, which will make things just a little bit smoother. Now, I have some shelves here. And the plan for these is to mount them in that area. So, um, I need to come up with the arrangement that I'm going to do that and start getting those mounted next. I think that is something I want to try to accomplish tonight. Uh, I've got the 3D printer here. It's in the floor. I haven't even opened that. I've actually had it for months and I just haven't got around to opening it. Um, but it'll be nice to have a 3D printer here and at the shop. So. Uh, you probably hear that HVAC kicking on right now and that is another thing that I need to get uh, audio taken care of on and like I said I'm gonna put up a set of blackout curtains on that window and I'm gonna try and use some sound treating behind those to help mute that even further and then I'll make one of my acoustic panels and that'll go on that wall so um, I actually I thought I bought 36 square feet of that acoustic panel and I actually thought it then only 24 feet showed up. So I started making the panels and then another 24 feet showed up. So I actually bought 48 square feet, um, not 36 and not 24. Uh, so I've got a bunch more of it here to actually uh, make some more panels. I'll probably put one more on that wall. I'll put one more there uh, and that may do it. Probably kind of wrap up, you know, how many acoustic panels I do with that. Um, a few other things is, you know, I'll have those shelves like I pointed out in that area. And then I've got some artwork that I'll hang up. And then I probably want to try and kind of have the artwork where I can change it out every once in a while and, and uh, add things new or change things out. And then one other thing I want to do is on that wall over there, is actually have like a board where I can put um, or a board or a piece of metal something along those lines where I can put stickers from uh, clubs or companies or things like that so anybody who uh, I get stickers from I can just keep plastering on that board and uh, you know as time goes I'm sure I'll end up covering over stickers and things like that but what I'll do is I'll just keep trying to build on it and uh, and go from there so I'll probably start fresh um, and start from the point once I finally get it hung up and I'll start hanging stickers up from then on so any stickers I get uh, since I'm not normally a big sticker person it'll give me a place to actually come and just plaster stickers on um, either from clubs or from products or things that I like anything like that um, 
and I, I think that that will be a fun little uh, board that will constantly change and be uh, new. As we get more and more things in here, audio will continue to improve. I'll try and keep deadening it so I get as little reverberation as possible. And I do have, you know, a, a little bit better mic setup compared to the GoPro, even though the GoPro actually sounds really good, but it's because I'm super close to it and it's not as close to a wall. So, you know, the mic that I have for my camera is better than the GoPro, but it has to sit closer to a wall. So I have an acoustic panel directly behind it to try and keep any uh, bounce back from coming to the microphone since they are, uh, they do have some sensitivity from the backside, even though they are a very directional microphone. That is the Audio Technica 875R, I believe. The camera is the Sony a6400. Um, couple of LED soft boxes like I said we've got the desk which is IKEA these uh, shelves back here are also IKEA those I actually um, like I said they're IKEA but I, I reinforced the back of them because they're not meant to hold something as heavy as a truck so I reinforced into each shelf the best I could to hopefully support the shelves and trucks that I put on them like you see here um, but like I said just simple ikea those are actually really cheap i'll try and put links to the shelves um, in case you are actually interested uh, in those and i'll try and put that in the description below one other thing i did you can probably see in the time lapse was i've got a sound deadening blanket in front of me uh, behind the desk it's dark the walls are dark so it's hard to see but that's just one more thing to try and keep reverberation from happening in that you know back corner i do need to get my rolling toolbox in here like i said that will go on this wall so once you get a rolling toolbox in here the 3d printer cart that's going to kind of really start to fill things up um, and i don't want a ton of things in the floor space uh, behind me so i obviously expect the toolbox to show up i think that's reasonable um, i'm bringing my black tool cart here so it won't be too uh, intrusive to the uh to the scene but from there we just have a lot of other cleanup to do so i'm gonna try and get the shelves put up tonight uh we'll try and shoot some test video with the actual uh sony a6400 that's mounted up there and see how this thing wraps up for the evening all right so we've got the basics of the studio kind of set back up i've got my acoustic panels on the wall the desk is in spot in place uh, my microphone is just here out of view. Uh, we got the shelves mounted back up, still playing around with lighting, kind of figuring out how exactly we want to uh, do that. Like I said, I've got the remote where I can kind of dial in colors and right now I've got it set back on orange, but not sure if that's what I'm going to stay with or not. We'll, uh, we'll play around with it. For now, that's what we've got to set on. I do have the uh, blue kind of halo light behind me and I got those shelves mounted over there. Uh, right now, I just threw some random objects on it, including my Fatal 4 PV, a tactic radio, um, my GoPros, and a Tiny Dancer, because you can never go wrong with a Tiny Dancer. You know, from here, it's mainly just getting this space set up to actually be able to function as normal. And I think the biggest thing for that is going to be tools. So tools is definitely going to be something that I'm going to need to evolve to get everything I need in this space. Um, so really looking forward to getting my toolbox in here and then just, you know, the rest of the things will fall in as they, uh, as they're needed, basically. I need to get the 3d printer rolling. And then something else I need to start looking at is shelving and storage for other parts that I need to have on hand here so that I can, you know, easily do some of the builds that I have and have planned without having to wait and go get the parts that I may have at the shop versus here at the studio. Um, and those again are just going to have to be things that I begin collecting here or start moving from the studio over, kind of prioritizing where I think some of those things need to be. And that's definitely going to be the hardest thing, having two locations where I'm trying to do a lot of work at. I do want to get a TV mounted in here, um, just kind of here off to the right of the camera or camera left. Um, 
and that will just give me something to make sure that I'm in focus on. I can plug it right into the HDMI output of my camera. And then also, of course, just give me something to watch while I'm actually wrenching on vehicles. So that is a, uh, a priority that I'm, I'm gonna try and get to before too long. I just got back from a week long trip in the Midwest and that's why the uh, TRX4 budget build finale, which the truck is up there, uh, has not been finished yet. I'm gonna film that tomorrow, but I needed to get the studio set up first. So uh, that was my very first thing that I needed to get done was get this space operational at least. That way I can film that tomorrow, get everything rolling. So we're a few days late, but nonetheless. And then from there, we, I've got a bunch of other things to just keep rolling on. One of them is a brand new series, which is actually going to start with the vehicle. I think it's that one right there. That one actually, I think is going to be a really fun series and I'm really looking forward to getting that kicked off. I'm getting the vehicle stand situation sorted. And I think that I've come up with exactly what I need. Uh, Color Innovations has cell blocks like we've got here, but they also have one that's basically the same shape. Uh, this isn't the actual square one. They have one that's square, but about half the height. And that's the one that I think is going to work perfectly on these shelves. And some of them, uh, I've got two, or actually I have one up there and I have one that's a very similar size, but it's slightly different shape. Um, but they actually work really well. So I need to pick up like 13 more of them, I think. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Yeah, I need to pick up 13 more of that specific shape. And then I can 3D print risers in case I need a little bit of extra room, but not quite the full height because a full cell block actually doesn't fit in there. It actually pushes the roof of the vehicle up into the shelf above it. So little fine tuning adjustments here and there, but we're gonna have just the perfect setup and I'm gonna be super stoked with it. I think my biggest thing at this point is still adjusting the camera slightly. I'm seeing a little bit lower here on the floor than I had originally planned. And so, I, but I still wanna see a good amount of the desk, wanna make sure that I'm in focus enough. I do have kind of a hard edge that I wanna keep along the uh, left side of the screen as you see it in front of you. Um, and I can see a little bit more here, but I'm also kind of fighting with wanting to make sure that my desk is somewhat square to the camera, not perfectly square. I don't mind having a little bit of skew to be able to talk to things to my left or camera right. Um, so, you know, the, there's just a few little things that I'm tweaking with there and I wanna, find that angle that I like the best and then try and mark and hold that position with the camera so that it is consistent. But these are all the things that I'm just kicking around here in the studio, trying to get that right look and feel that I've been after this whole time. Right now that HVAC unit just kicked on. So I'm gonna see how the sound of that goes with that microphone. Again, it's only you know 10 inches or so from my mouth. So hopefully I can kind of isolate that sound as best I can either in post or with the proximity of the microphone as it is already. Hopefully with this space all finished up, I'll be able to keep an even more consistent schedule. I try and keep things as consistent as possible. The scale news has kind of slacked a little bit just based on more because of the industry and being slow during the summer than my actually shooting you know, area. So I won't blame that completely on this project, but I do think that this space will aid in helping me be consistent throughout all of my projects and push me to do more new series as well, which again, I am looking to start a couple of new ones. But that's gonna wrap up this update on the studio. And hopefully the look is coming out something that is appealing to you guys and allows you to see what we're talking about, make sure that things are lit well, look professional and sound good. If you guys have any suggestions for the studio, make sure to drop them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoy them. Subscribe if you're not already. Hit the notification bell so you see the videos as soon as they pop up. We'll see you guys later this week for the Traxxas week 16 finale of the TRX4 budget build off. Thanks again for watching guys. We'll see you on the next one.